Hey you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So at the beginning of the year, did you run out and buy all new workout gear? Or did you go into your closet and look around and say, oh, I have nothing to work out in? Well, take those new workout clothes back to the store and get your queens. And let's pull out some of those old workout clothes and let's make something out of them. So I have a drawer full of like t-shirts, old t-shirts I used to work out in, t-shirts that I just grabbed to nap in, things like that. So I was doing a little bit of spring cleaning trying to get rid of some things. Now some of these shirts have little stains in them like grease stains that wouldn't come out. That's why I stopped wearing them out. But we're going to be creative, make something cute out of them and we're not even going to worry about it. So when I sit down to start cutting up shirts I have no idea what direction I'm going in I just start cutting and I just let the scissors take me from there this shirt here was my least favorite only because the um, neck area I think it should have been bigger so I think I should have used a different type of shirt for this particular design so I left it in here because I know y'all will see where I was going with this and I know y'all will be able to make something happen out of it. Those marks on the shirt was just marks I made to guide myself. So once you cut out the back, this is what you will have. I don't want a lot of material around the neck area so I'm cutting a good bit of that off. It's better to lay the shirt on top of itself when you're cutting if you're cutting the, um, each side the same. For some reason I didn't do that a couple of times while I was doing these particular shirts. But it's easier that way and of course quicker. It was at this point where I felt this shirt was going to be a fail, <laughs> but I kept going. And do the other side exactly how you did the first side. Also, I want it to kind of droop down in the front and I don't want all that extra material to be just hanging there. So I'm going to cut the um, front of the shirt sort of like I did the back. So here's the um, results of this shirt. Um, I really like the back. I really, really like the back. And you just put it on, you know, cross it over your head. I really like the back. Of course, this would look, I think, so much better with a halter top sports bra. And I was just moving so y'all can see that the shirt um, will move. This, I think, is a really sexy, really, really sexy um, workout shirt. So all of your shirts will have like rough jagged edges. Just make sure you pull on the shirt so that it curls up so that you don't see those rough cut edges. And I was just trying to see how it would look without the bra showing. Um, yeah, so y'all got to excuse my wretchedness. Y'all know I just be chilling at the house and I was spring cleaning. So ain't no cuteness going on over here. Wait, it should be called winter cleaning. Next up, I have two shirts that are identical in style, but they're two different colors. One of them is orange and one of them is purple. So I cut off the small sleeves and now I'm going in and cutting a little bit more off of the back. I'm going to cut a big hole in the back of the shirt starting at the neck area. I'm only cutting the back part of the shirt. And again, you will have rough edges. Just scratch the shirt out to get rid of those rough edges. The ends will curl up so that you can't see it. Now, once you're done with this shirt, you would just put it on, put the neck area 
over your head and you're good to go I chose to cut the back of the neck area because I wanted to be able to pull the shirt down as far as I wanted to or as far as it would go or pull it up um, so yeah you can tie it up in the back you can tuck it if you don't want it like hanging like that you can just tie it in a knot and then cut off any loose pieces or of course you don't have to cut it at all now this one I really really like my sport bras are like full coverage so it would cover most of my fat rolls which I don't care if they do but it will so I love that one I love that back out next up we have the burgundy shirt or purple or however it's coming off on camera <laughs> but um, this one is my absolute favorite I fell in love with this one So you want to first fold the shirt onto itself like so. I'm starting at about I guess the middle of the arm area and I'm cutting at an angle and I'm going to cut all the way down into that white piece of fabric I just laid there to give me a little bit of a guide. Around the front of the neck area, I'm going to draw three little dots to just give myself um, some direction on where to cut. So just cut out you a little diamond in the front to give the shirt a little bit of jazz. And in the back, this is where you get creative. You can get some different color, fabric, tie it together, whatever you want to do. Just tie the back up. I just tied it in a knot or I tied it. I adjusted it, kind of tied it tight, put it where I wanted it to go, and then tied it in a knot. And these are the results of this shirt. This one is my favorite. I like it. So even when you have old clothes that have stains, they're too big, bleach stains, whatever, take those shirts and make them into something. So as I was recording this video, I had about three or four more shirt ideas. So let me know below if y'all like these type of videos and I will put up my other ideas. I would love to know how you feel about the white shirt. How would you have designed it different? And which shirt was your favorite? Let me know below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share my videos. I love you guys and I'll see y'all soon.